Series X3 is the all-inclusive category. It is cost-effective as a feeder category for those who want to take a step up and it's just a lot of fun for those who have been racing for quite some time. Lots of stories in this paddock, so time to chat to some of our drivers. Bathurst is just the holy grail of motorsport. Uh, everyone who's a driver from carts right through to cars wants to come here and, and test their skill and have the opportunity. And uh, through Team Basaris, uh, I've got this opportunity to be here this weekend and I'm very grateful to Paul and Charmaine for uh, teeing up a lot of the things that, that has got me here. Uh, and yeah, seven corners at Barbagallo Raceway to 20 odd corners here at, uh, at Bathurst, it's a, it's a big difference. The story behind that was originally going to be driving a different car, but uh, of Natasha Basaris. But um, they made a change with her car and put her back in a new car. So uh, I then jumped into Chubby's car as a, as a deal. So it's been really good. So Chubby's been really good to me this weekend. So I'm really happy, grateful for him. We've got five cars coming over from WA this year. And we essentially just uh, hired a big truck and uh, shipped them over with them. So it took them three and a half days to get the cars over. And uh, yeah, we met the cars here on the uh, Wednesday night, offloaded them, and then yeah, that's uh, where we ended up. Started go-karting when I was maybe 13, 14 or something like that and uh, raced around the UK when we were living there and uh, moved to Australia, bought the go-kart with us and did a bit of go-karting there and then had a couple of years off and decided I wanted to do something different and jumped into the XLs as a good cheap entry-level motorsport. Oh, it's just such a challenging circuit. There's, uh, there's nothing that uh, really comes close to it in terms of the, the changing camera, the track, the speed of it, the very intimidating walls either side as you're driving around. Um, you know, it takes uh, a lot of courage to drive around fast. Well, I started three years ago and Dad just came home one day and he was like, I've got this car, do you want to make it into a race car and do you want to race it? And I was like, yeah, okay, we'll give it a try because I've never had any experience in racing before. And then Jake followed along. Two years later, itching to get out there while, while I was seeing my sister race, so. It's really daunting, like, it's so different to Barb Gallo. There's so many walls, it's so much faster and, I think, but the thing that you love about it is it's Bathurst, so you're never going to get the opportunity to race it again. So you just go out there and have fun and see what you can do, really. What I love about it is the history of the place, knowing who's driven the track, who's been on it, and also the risk of racing the track. I do like a bit, I, I love a bit of risk when I'm driving around. Barbagello is a very nice place, but not as many walls, and I do like, I do like the risk of walls and stuff like that. I came home once and we found out that Tash was going to be racing with me as well. It was originally supposed to be me, but then a spot opened up. So then I said to Tash, why don't we get a bit of, you know, whoever wins gets a, bit, gets a prize. And then Tash, Tash really wanted something Gucci and so did I. So then I came up with a wallet and then Tash wanted her a purse. So it's on between the Pizarrises this weekend. Tash, how about if you beat your brother, he has to buy you and me a Gucci bag? <laughs> it's not going to happen. Well, we're ready to go racing. Can't wait to see who wins this bit and, of course, who takes home the race win. There's no place you'd rather be on Easter Sunday than Mount Panorama Bathurst, the holy grail of Australian motor racing. And on this amazing Easter Sunday, we're going to fill the circuit 51 cars. Federal Tyres Circuit XL Challenge ready for their third and final race of what's been a thrilling weekend. It's the second year this category has raced here and every single time they get on the racetrack, they put on a show. We've got onboard coverage throughout the 51 car field and the best of the best from all around Australia have gathered here at Mount Panorama this Easter long weekend to go motor racing as part of the High Tech Oils Bathurst Six Hour support program. On pole position, Asher Johnston, he's won two of the three races so far. He qualified on pole position and he owns the lap record. Michael Clemente alongside him, Jordan Caruso and Cam Wilson from the second row of the grid. Bartholomew Young, Parrish, Wells, Bright and Woods. David Wood will be one to watch going from P10 in this very big field. As I said, 51 cars filling Mount Panorama. They're gridded up back onto Conrod Strait and up towards the chase. Keep your eye out for your favourite driver and find out where they're going to finish today. Six laps is the duration, the third and final race of the weekend. Really looking forward to seeing how this plays out. So here's Johnston. He's on pole position, the South Australian former state champion. He was on the podium here last year. He's dominated this weekend. We're underway. Easter Sunday, Mount Panorama. 
Federal Tyres Circuit XL Challenge. This should be a thriller. Into turn one. It's called Hell Corner for a reason. Try getting 51 XL through it there. Three and four wide in the back of the field. And there's contact. Contact early in this one. Brock Giblin gets spun in front of the field. And it's going to take big evasive action for everyone to get out of the way. The Queenslander avoids serious uh, damage. Jessica Martin looks like she's made up some ground. Went around the outside of turn one and got some position. So big incident. And they were two of the key contenders early in this race. Looked like it was Mark Goldspink, the other car involved. That bright blue entry you can see left of screen. Oh, the Queenslander, pretty unhappy with life at the moment. Out on lap one, turn one of the feature race of the weekend. Here's Johnston, the leader. Back down into second gear for the cutting. Gives the car a big rev. Using as many of the 1,500 cc's as they can to drag themselves up. This one in six gradient that is such a feature. Of this iconic racetrack here in country New South Wales. And safety car boards and flags, obviously, for that stranded car at turn one. Race officials have deemed a bit too much damage for the Queenslanders' car, and they'll need to recover that in the safety of the safety car. On board with Nathan Blight towards the pointy end of the field throughout this weekend. As we said, the best of the best from around Australia have joined forces here this weekend. South Australians and Victorians, a lot of Queenslanders. The Queensland series extremely strong. A good WA contingent. We heard from a few of their star drivers for the start of this race. Of course, New South Welshmen here as well, coming together at this mecca of motorsport. Here's Martin, who got lucky and got some ground around the outside of turn one as Giblin was turned around. Everyone checked up, but the 46 car went right and was able to get some ground. So that's worked very, very well. So it's Johnston, Clementi, Cam Wilson, who was a winner here last year. It's like Cam Bartholomew is in the mix as well. Wood's got some ground, so he's got early positions. The field sorting themselves out. They get a chance to have a breath. They need it this crisp early morning. Let's go back and analyse what happened here. They were three wide a little bit further in front. It was Garrity going around the outside in that LJ Hooker car, but the contact happened on the left of screen. And how they got away with that, I don't know. So many cars all aiming at the same bit of racetrack. Fortunately, Giblin was just in the pit exit lane here at Mount Panorama. This on board with Martin. I think we're going to see some positions gained here. Let's count as she gobbles up a bunch of excels. One, two, three, four. Might be another one before she gets to the crest at Mountain Straight. There's five. Very productive opening term. The pressure now on this man. South Australian driver, check it out, racing leading this big field back to green. A safety car restart at Mount Panorama. He's got Michael Clementi, the young Victorian for Dave Burns XL Racing Australia team. And Asher Johnson is allied with right behind and they've been battling each other in the South Australian State Championship at the Ben Motorsport Park in Malala. So they know how they race together. And right behind them is one of the most exciting drivers to watch anywhere, Queenslander Cameron Wilson, Philip Wilson Racing. Slideways go kart in Queensland XL. He's raced just about everything. A winner in V8 Utes, a bit of Touring Car Masters style racing as well, and a spinner in the background. Another car goes round. I think that's Wood. So another of the Queensland contingent. Yeah, it is the 97 car. And he's doing the old shootout style drive the wrong way into pit lane strategy here, which won't go down too well with race control, you would have thought. Whoa, big moment. That's huge. The battle for fourth and fifth place. And Nathan Blight going around the outside at turn two at Griffin's Bend, right up behind Bartholomew on the 95. And a bit of bump drafting up here into the kink before the cutting. This is absolutely how Circuit XL Racing goes. Wheel to wheel, nose to tail, and a little bit of bump drafting for good measure. Wow, that was a pretty hairy moment. Big slide at turn one. And what it's done is split the field. So the three leaders have got the next group are all closely bunched together as they get to re-park and go through the metal grate. Cold tyres, crisp conditions here this morning. It hasn't been overly cold, but still take time to get temperatures and pressures up after only a few corners of fast-paced action at the start of the race and then a couple of laps on the safety car. 
Uh, break lock up for both Clemente and Johnston. How's the slide? Bartholomew holds on to it somehow. Over Brock Skyline, back to the car in, which in a front wheel drive car is not an easy thing to do. He's had that thing on the lock, lock stops twice on this lap. He is hanging on to fourth place. Jump on board the 46 car. It's at the back of this entertaining queue for fourth through about 25th position. And they get out of the elbow and down Conrod straight. And this is where you'll see one of the hallmarks of Excel racing here at Mount Panorama, which is slipstreaming. It's one of the few circuits in Australia where they use fifth gear. The standard road car ratios and gearbox, just over 200 kilometers an hour, and now wheel to wheel through the kink. Bartholomew is in the blue car. Maybe about to lose a position here to Nathan Blight in car 10. And it's Young just in behind in the 42. Very nice looking race car. Blight's got a great run out of the chase. And there's the bump drafting. Bump, bump. Hello, Cam. I'm right behind you. Does he go down the inside at Murray's corner? He doesn't, but Bartholomew's car, very, very loose. I wonder if they maybe started their rear tyre pressures a little bit too low, but been a handful in the opening laps. Blight again with a very good run out of the corner. He gets good power down. Another little bit of a nudge. Doesn't feel like he's close enough to make a move. The problem with passing at turn one is you cost yourself momentum taking that shallower line through the corner, which means you cost yourself straight line speed. Whoa, LJ Hooker car off the road into the wall. Exit of hell corner. That's quite a big impact too. And there's a big field of dust and debris at the top of the screen as the field negotiates it. Here these two go again, side by side. Blight on right of screen. He's on the outside though to Griffin's Bend at turn two. And there's some oil dry down from earlier events up there as well. So the track conditions and the surface doesn't make for a whole lot of grip. Leaders clearing away. This is the battle for fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. And I think 11th might just be in the back of this group as well. See James Benford just in the back of this. Very good looking car from South Australia. Stephen Kerwood looks like he's in the mix as well. So a good diverse group of cars from around the country. Up through Reed Park they go. Flat all the way across the top. Third gear, grab fourth at the metal grate. There it is. Now they're flowing the car, but while these two battle, it's allowed the three leaders to disappear up the road, and Asher Johnston's got a handy little margin and has broken the toe away from Michael Clementi, and that's critical. I love these cars. They're so light in the rear end. They dance around under maximum braking. So let's go back and have a look. Just a big fistful of understeer at turn one. The car just got nowhere near the apex and fired across into that unforgiving concrete wall on driver's right. Not the first driver to do that at Mount Panorama. It certainly won't be the last. Now check this out. Brock Skyline, turn the car in. Big moment, big slide as the rear fights. But this was that moment from Bartholomew. Had it all locked up and pointing back towards Bathurst, except that's not the way the racetrack goes there. Great catch, good slide, good bit of racing. And the battle continues. Two leaders have gapped Cameron Wilson. He's still running in third place. And there goes Johnston. Check it out, racing. High-tech oils car of Michael Clementi, who is a talent to watch. Young man from Victoria. Very quietly spoken, but enthusiastic racer. Now Blight gets a good run, and he'll have a help from behind as well. A little bit of a toe assist as they go past Bartholomew into the kink. He's going to lose two spots, and it could be three. So it's like NASCAR racing on a super speedway. You get such an aerodynamic assistance as Young goes through that very striking number 42 car. You get such a toe advantage that you can gobble up often several cars in a row and run down Conrad straight. So Blight gets himself up to third place. Bartholomew back further now. And here's another positional change down at Murray's corner. This is a terrific scrap. The thing with Excel Racing is though, there's 51 cars in this field. And the fight for 37th probably looks exactly the same as this all the way back through the field. So Blight has gone from the attacker to the attackee. He's now defending from Young, who's up behind him. So run up Mountain Straight. Laps winding down. Lap five of six. The pace is hot at the front. Both Johnston and Clementi under the existing lap record held by Asher Johnston. 
big gap back to Cam Wilson running nicely in third in the slideways car. More cars off the road behind. This is the fight for fourth. And then look at the fight for sixth behind as well. Up the inside goes Young. Difficult to get it stopped there at turn two with the oil dry in the braking zone. But he managed to back out of it. And Blight holds on to his position in car number 10. And that hurt Young's run up. So that's what we were talking about, that momentum. You come out of a corner offline in one of these cars. It costs you for so long, especially this part of the road when you're climbing uphill and every single one of the 1,498 cc's don't work. That didn't work at all. Big impact. Two into one didn't go there and some damaged race cars results. Well, that's a shame because it was such a good, hard, clean battle up to that point but it's had that choke point with one car going slowly and everyone else trying to work their way past and unfortunately it caused that car to end up in the wall on the outside so the 54 oh that was really really difficult wasn't it that's unfortunate Liam Gretrix in the 76 car and Brett Parrish involved in that fight BP a noted Queenslander right at the thick of the action in the Queensland State Series, always a leading contender. Unfortunately, no further part to be taken in this race. Laps winding down. A lap and a quarter to go at Mount Panorama, and they were nose to tail going up into Griffin's Bend, but Johnston's broken the back of this race across the top of Mount Panorama. Check it out, racing car is flying, and he's broken the toe of Michael Clementi, which is absolutely key going into the final lap of this race. Let's jump on board with the leader, Johnston. Former Gold Star champion and supercar Bathurst lap record holder Simon Wills is working with him, engineering this car. Unfortunately, not here this weekend. He's just had a new addition to the family. So watching on from home, but we'll be cheering his driver on. One lap to go. And on the fifth or sixth lap, he smashes the lap record, 252.70. They've taken chunks of time out of the existing benchmark. That's a huge lap from our race leader. He's got one to go, 6.2 kilometres. Back to Cam Wilson, he's in third. He's got the 42 car of Young closing in quite rapidly. Although that's not gonna help the cause and Blight was off as well at turn one. So both running very, very wide, extending the track limits as far as they possibly could. Cool to see the Super Shock branding on the dash there. They're one of several approved control damper suppliers for this category. So Oscar Firinotto's company heavily involved in supercars with teams like Tickford Racing involved in XLs with their Super Shock XL pack. There are many different products out there. They've been proven to be right up there with the best. That shows the kind of investment that happens. It's always the way with grassroots racing it gets really competitive really quickly and a few little hand gestures there from car 42 to car 10 behind we're talking about how this is like nascar super speedway racing there's proof a little bit of a wave going right oh nathan you're not going through at the cutting perhaps wait your turn for conrod straight the leaders are clear but this is a great fight you get the feeling it's not done with yet and if these two can work together and get a double toe down Conrad, they may just have enough to reel in Cam Wilson in the slideways car as well. And that might make it a three-way fight for the final step on the podium. Cam Bartholomew was a winner here 12 months ago, Easter 2018. He's run quite at the front, though we've seen his adventures in this race, struggling to hold on to the rear of his car. Wilson ragging his thing as hard as he can. Smoke coming off the rear tyres, but he's been caught by these two across the top of Mount Panorama. So this sets it up for a really entertaining, slipstreaming, super speedway style battle down Conrod Strait. Nathan Blight with a good exit out of the elbow. Two just pulling away slightly. Might not be a bad thing, to be honest. Young getting a really good run on his fellow Queenslander. Here are the leaders. Full credit, Michael Clementi. This young guy is a star of the future. But Asher Johnston and the Check It Out Racing team from Adelaide have brought their A game this weekend. Grabbed pole by a second. The pole time was 3.8 seconds faster than the equivalent time 12 months ago. One race one, one race two in almost dark conditions on Saturday evening here at Mount Panorama. And with a new lap record already in the books, the Check It Out Racing driver is going to take a clean sweep 
of the Federal Tires Circuit XL Challenge at Mount Panorama. Nothing but domination at Bathurst for Asher Johnston. Clementi home in second. He should be proud of his weekend. He pushed Asher the whole way all weekend long. And XL Racing Australia be happy. Dramas, dramas behind for third place. Cam Wilson is off the road and he's stuck in the gravel and is very fired up. Young is stuck there as well. And that was, I think, ultimately the fight for third with Bartholomew and Blight going across the line. Here's Martin. So Martin's going to get a few more free positions in this race. Turn one was favourable and turn 23 has worked for her as well this weekend, getting some free positions in the 46 car. Wow, so what happened? This is on board with Nathan Blight, wheel to wheel. So that's Young on the left going down the inside, trying desperately to get it stopped and does so. They both go off the road. It's like the McLaughlin supercars incident in the 1000 a couple of years ago. The rejoin was a little bit better though. And Cameron Wilson actually got some free position out of that. So Blight got involved, looked down the inside, but I reckon keep your eyes left. Wow. Never looked like getting the car turned in at Murray's corner. And there's the chequered flag. And Blight is going to get that position. So top of the screen, you can see the contact. Wilson off in the gravel track. Young with nowhere to go. And they'll have a fairly resolute debrief after that one, I'd suggest. Asher Johnson, your winner. He goes three from three. Michael Clementi next. Blight, Bartholomew fourth. Wells and Lima next. Kerwood, Benford, Green and Hill complete the top 10 in a very entertaining race. Let's go and catch up with our race winner. He's chatting to Emma Notta Francesco down the Circuit XL paddock. I am indeed Asha Johnston. Congratulations. The Easter Bunny's been very kind to you today. Fantastic win. Take us through it. Oh, look, thanks very much. Um, it's a credit to my team. I uh, couldn't do it without him. Uh, Simon Wills has been engineering the car from Adelaide. Um, he couldn't be here with us this weekend. I wish he was. <laughs> um, um, my guys, Chris O, Susan, Cherie, um, and David Exo Racing Australia for yeah, just the best engine going around. It's been awesome. You can't see it, guys, but he's getting very, very emotional. I mean, it is Easter Sunday. We're at the mountain. Could it get any better than this? No, I couldn't. Um, last year, we felt like we robbed a bit with the, the race being short, and we felt like we had the fastest car. And to come back this year and, and put on the performance we've done, is, it just feels like you know, vindication for last year. So uh, we knew we could do it. It was just a matter of coming and ticking all the boxes, and we've done it. It is great to see a lady in this category, Natasha Pissaris. I spoke to you yesterday. Now, your brother is also racing, so you're up against your brother, a bit of sibling rivalry, and you had a bit of a bet going too. Whoever got one would get a Gucci wallet. So is he buying you a Gucci wallet? I believe you finished ahead of him. He is definitely buying me a Gucci wallet. <laughs> now, he wasn't uh, very happy. Did he have an off? He looked pretty upset in the car. Yeah, he had an off um, coming out of the chase, so not too happy with himself, but... All is well. I know the adrenaline is still pumping inside you. How do you feel you win that race? I know you're actually not sure where you finished, so guys, give me an update if you can. <laughs> oh, it was so amazing. Like, even being at the back of the pack, just being at this mountain and just competing with all these other guys is such an amazing experience. I'm so happy. Can't wait to see you here next year. Well done. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, well done to Natasha Klein from 49th to 37th in that race. That's a pretty stout drive. What a great weekend it's been as part of the High Tech Oil about the six hour. We've loved having the excels here. Well done to everyone and the winner, Asher Johnston. That's it for now. We'll see you back at the mountain in 2020. More to come after the break as we wind back to the final round of the 2014 Australian V8 Superboat Series from tomorrow in New South Wales. <laughs> 